TNA Wrestling will achieve more publicity in a positive way, or do you think TNA Wrestling will achieve more publicity in a negative kind of way, with Hulk Hogan being the general manager of TNA Wrestling? You can tell us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter by sending us a friend's request along with your information to facebook.com slash Entertainment by subscribing to our YouTube channel and sending us your opinion to HEW Entertainment's official YouTube channel at Jonathan Clark 22 and you can send us a tweet with your opinion of Hulk Hogan. Will it receive more positivity or more negativity about Hogan's new role in TNA Wrestling? Twitter.com, HEW Entertainment, Jonathan Clark 1. Let us know what's on your mind. In addition to that, send us your favorite Hulk Hogan videos, Hulk Hogan photos, any fan art, anything you would like to contribute to our website. We welcome all of your feedback to the HEW Entertainment's official website. You can also send it to HW Wrestling at Hotmail.com. I'd love to see some of your Hulk Hogan photos, your fan art, your videos, whatever you got about Hulk Hogan. Maybe you have a moment in Hulk Hogan's career. Maybe you have interview clips. Whatever you'd like to send to HGW Entertainment's news center and our official website, you can do so. HGWWrestlingHotmail.com. We are also on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. You can air the show on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We are streaming it on all three social networks. We have over 1,100 fans on our Facebook page, and I'm sure at least probably six or seven hundred of you are Hulk Hogan fans. Everybody was a Hulk Hogan fan back in the 80s, especially oldies uh, were fans of Hulk Hogan and probably still are. Hulk Hogan was the man uh, in the 1980s and he definitely defined a decade. Ric Flair might have dominated in the 1980s, but a certain portion of the 1980s were dominated by Hulk Hogan. I mean, he did everything in the 80s, even body slammed Andre the Giant, something that people said could never be done, Hulk Hogan accomplished, and Hulk Hogan vs. Ric Flair was a memorable match in the WWE. If you can remember back to 1991, it was interference on the behalf of Ric Flair that cost Hulk Hogan the 1991 Survivor Series WWE Championship match, the gravest challenge against The Undertaker, when Flair slid a steel chair into the ring, allowing The Undertaker to tombstone Hulk Hogan onto that chair, and allow The Undertaker to capture his first WWE Championship, the gravest challenge. Hulk Hogan, going back to what I initially said, has done it all. And wrestling fans remember Hulk Hogan for a lot of things. If it's the immortal Hulk Hogan, then that's what you remember Hulk Hogan for. If it's the movie star in Hollywood Hulk Hogan in WCW, that's what you remember Hulk Hogan for. If it's the leader of the New World Order, you remember Hulk Hogan for that. And now, he's the general manager of TNA Wrestling, and the newer fans of professional wrestling are remembering Hulk Hogan for that, and that's a contribution. If you remember Hulk Hogan for anything he's done, I, I think Hulk Hogan definitely, if there wasn't no such thing as Hulk Hogan, Terry Bollea, I think that professional wrestling would probably never have amounted to anything, really. Hulk Hogan was the man who defined professional wrestling, defined an era, and catapulted the WWF into absolute stardom, later revolving from the WWF into the WWE. And people still call Hulk Hogan the best wrestler to ever lace up a pair of boots. He is arguably... Uh, placed in a class of individuals that very few people have been placed in. Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, Bret Hart, Yokozuna. A lot of wrestlers have been able to be placed in that class because of their contributions, and Hulk Hogan has made his fair share of contributions, and that's the reason why he is still remembered for being the immortal Hulk Hogan. He's not remembered as Terry Bollea, the washed-up wrestling star from the 1980s. He's remembered as Hulk Hogan, a famous celebrity everything he's done. Who can forget everything Hogan's done? Even Hogan Knows Best, which was later revamped into Brooke Knows Best because of some financial and personal problems with following the Hogan family. Hogan's done it all. Reality star, movie star, wrestling star, rent-a-center commercials, and now TNA Wrestling general manager. And with Eric Bischoff still kicking around in TNA Wrestling, we know their history from WCW. So, I mean, anything could happen with Hogan now being in power. Uh, and Tina Wrestling, a lot of storylines, a lot of positivity, hopefully more positivity than negativity going back to our poll. Do you think that Hulk Hogan being the general manager of Tina Wrestling will receive good publicity or negative publicity? Good or bad publicity, tell us. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. I think it's going to receive more positive publicity than anything because of his name. Hogan sold more merchandise than anybody in the 1980s and even in the early 90s when Hogan made his return to the WWE at WrestleMania 9 and won the WWE Championship in a mere 30 seconds against Yokozuna. It was a mar remarkable time and turnaround for Hogan's career, coming back with more momentum than what he had initially left the WWE with. Unbelievable career Hogan has left us with. What is your favorite Hulk Hogan moment? Tell us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Hopefully Hogan will return to the ring. I, for one, would love to believe 
that Hogan has one more match left in him. I hope that Hogan does, and I hope we do get that classical Sting Hogan rematch that people have wanted to see for years. And I ask the question to all of our fans on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter listening to the show do you want to see Hogan wrestle again? I, for one, believe it's going to happen, despite the back injuries, despite all the negativity. Hogan has been given already in his first few weeks as the general manager of TNA Wrestling. People have been talking about what's next for Hulk Hogan and Hulkamania. That is a question that I rose for in this corner with Jonathan Clark. I myself am wondering what's next for Hulkamania because I don't know. Hogan has done everything after 25 years wrestling for every major wrestling organization. Back in the 80s when territories were a big thing, Hogan was there for it all. Defeating the Iron Sheik when he was on top. How many of you remember seeing uh, the Iron Sheik? That's a question for her core wrestling fans. There's a reason why the Iron Sheik hates Hulk Hogan. It's because Hulk Hogan accomplished more than the Iron Sheik could have accomplished in 25 years, and only things that the Sheik could have ever dreamed of accomplishing Hulk Hogan did. I mean, it's amazing, just looking back at 25 years of Hulk Hogan's career, Hulk Still Rules is a DVD that doesn't even cover half of Hogan's prestigious career, and if ever a DVD or Blu-ray documentation was released on the career of Hulk Hogan, I mean, not even that, a three or four disc set could uh, accumulate or, uh, you know, c uh, document is the word I'm searching for, the career of Hulk Hogan, I mean, nothing, DVD, Blu-ray, uh, autobiography could ever uh, you know, sum up what Hulk Hogan has done. I mean, Hulk Hogan's career accomplishments is unprecedented anything we have seen in the wrestling industry. That is why I believe in Hulk Hogan and the vision TNA Wrestling has for making him the general manager. He's going to do a better job than Sting did. Seems like any role Sting has with a wrestling organization lasts the equivalent of three to four months and then it's done. And it's just something that's looked back at in the archives of wrestling websites. It just seems like Sting is doing things for the purpose of doing them and receiving publicity and making a bit of extra cash. While people like Hogan and Fleer do it for the love of the professional wrestling industry. I alluded to a lot of good points in my column, Hulk Hogan as the general manager of TNA Wrestling. People like Hogan and Fleer deserve to always have something to do with the wrestling industry. They should never go and fade away and be remembered as a washed-up wrestling star from the 1980s, the greatest wrestling star of the 80s. You cannot have a DVD released without Hulk Hogan being included on that list of 80s wrestling legends. You don't see people like Sting included on that list of 80s wrestling legends because he didn't accumulate to what Hogan did or what Flair did. It seems like Sting is just there to do things for the purpose of doing them while we have other wrestlers who come in and do things for the love of the wrestling industry, I believe everybody who was featured on SmackDown's recent blast from the past, Super SmackDown Tuesday Live, uh, did it for the love of the business, and they definitely showed a love for the business. They were involved in everything from storyline angles to promotional things uh, to, uh, you know, comical relief. They did everything for that one. Everyone from Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, to Sergeant Slaughter shined brighter than anybody on the show. It was all about the legends, and they definitely did get... A significant amount of the uh, attention and a lot of the television time were given to legends. Some of the legends even wrestled, and we saw Piper's Pit return for the first time in six years. How much fun did Piper have doing that with Daniel Bryan and AJ? More than I could ever put into words for you. He had a lot of fun. Uh, definitely. Roddy Piper's another one who loves the business, and everybody on that Blast from the Past show uh, had a love for the business. And if Hogan was still in talks with WWE, he probably would have been there. I mean, Hogan usually used to show up uh, around 2006, 2007 to do some publicity things for WWE. Come in, do something that was required of him to do and just go. Uh, but because of his contractual obligations to TNA Wrestling, that prevented him from doing it. You know, Hogan definitely is the man, regardless of what you want to say about Hulk Hogan. This is just another chapter in Hogan's career, and this is the way I referred to it as uh, for a written column for In This Corner of Jonathan Clark. This is just the next, the next chapter of Hogan's career because he's done everything and being a general manager is something that Hogan had yet to do. So now with this general manager role uh, just being a few weeks in, five months from now, we can look at Hulk Hogan's career and say he's done everything. He might not have had the opportunity to be the commissioner of the WWE or the general manager of Raw or SmackDown, but he definitely did do everything that was required of a wrestler to do. He was a wrestler a movie star, he went back to being a wrestler, he's now a general manager, he managed, I mean Hogan did it all. 
and uh, regardless of what you want to say about him, regardless if you review him in a positive way or a negative way, Hulk Hogan was the man. I mean, how many of you had a Hulk Hogan plush doll that you beat the shit out of and tore the stuffing out of back when you were a kid? How many of you had the thumb wrestler of Hulk Hogan, the Hulkamania t-shirts? I mean, like I said, Hogan sold just as much merchandise as Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Hogan vs. Austin at WrestleMania is a match just waiting to happen, and unfortunately because of injuries preventing them from wrestling, we will never see Hogan vs. Austin because of knee injuries and back injuries all coming together. We probably will never see that, but I would love to see Hogan vs. Austin just as much as I'd probably like to see something like Hogan vs. Cena. But we're never going to see it. I hope we get one more match at home. Because I think he deserves to go into the Hall of Fame of professional wrestling as a winner. If he's going to go out of the wrestling business in its entirety, he deserves to go out as a winner. I mean, how can you send Hulk Hogan out? Is there any other way to send Hulk Hogan out rather than sending him out as a winner? He definitely deserves to go out as a winner because of all of his contributions. Holding everything from major championships to tag team championships to wrestling on the independents. Just recently, uh, he finished up a tour here in Canada where he toured all the provinces of Canada, everywhere from uh, Newfoundland to 